Hey guys, welcome back to the Tactical Solar Channel. Now today, I know I haven't posted a video in about two or three weeks. Uh, my apologies on that. I'm trying to work on getting some more videos out there for you guys. Uh, just a lot of solar content I want to produce, but just a little time I can make it. But I do just want to say guys, thank you for all the support that uh, I got on this channel. I'm almost about to hit 100 subscribers, so. If you are a viewer that is not subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe for more solar content. I'm telling you guys, I'm doing stuff that no other channel would possibly do as far as the projects I'm doing. Now today, we're gonna be, I'm gonna be showing you guys a, a portable solar Ryobi charger that you can use a solar panel. Yes, a 40 watt solar panel. I, I do recommend using a 40 watt solar panel to charge Ryobi battery. You might be wondering, how can you take, you know, your Ryobi charger, charge a Ryobi battery? Well, it's simple. It's just a little device. It's just a little device called a DC converter. Uh, it would take whatever volts that you have. If your panel gives out 24 volts, it'll step it down to 12 volts, and then you can hook up an inverter right into it, and you can use stuff as chargers or other appliances to power off directly off a solar panel. And so that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys today. I know a lot of people are like, well, you can just buy the Ryobi, you know, the inverter charger, because it's got USB-C on the side, it's 30 watts. Uh, you can power that through solar panel, but you know, I'm showing you guys a more complicated way. Uh, this is just stuff I like doing. Now, the inverter, the, inver the inverter one charger, it's really nice. I mean, it's got 150 watt AC outlets, got your two uh, USB fast charge, 18 watt uh, USB charger, and it's great. And overall, it, you know, it does work with solar panel. Uh, we'll charge your batteries up. I mean, I. I ran the test, it, it took me about an hour and 11 minutes to take a two amp hour battery from fully dead to full full charge in an hour and 11 minutes. So that's actually not bad. For 30 watts of power and through a solar panel. Anyways guys, we'll be going outside here in a little bit and I'll be showing you guys what I made. Well guys, here it is. So what we have here is a flex solar 40 watt panel. Right off a 19 volt DC cord right here excuse my little mess but it is connected to a wire connector to uh, SAE to SA reverse polarity and to another SAE and here is where it really takes off this is a DC buck converter this takes anywhere between 19 to 24 volts. It'll step down to 12 volts so you can power a inverter. It's right here as you can see in that, part, that butt converter, it's ran off to uh, another wire connector with a 12 gauge uh, cigarette female adapter. It's ran off to this Joy Room uh, three port car cigarette ports. I know you can't see it, but it actually tells you the voltage. It's at 12.1, 12.0. It's just fluctuating. And then, like I said, the, the inverter is connected to one of the car ports. As you can see, the inverter is on. It's plugged up to this 30 watt charger. And you can see it's charging. Like I said, this is just a complicated, complicated little system, but it's actually not hard to set up. Now, why I'm saying it's complicated because it is a lot as far as you can just hook up this to that, that battery. But the thing is, if you don't have that, it's just one way you can have a little portable charging station. I mean, it don't even have to be a charger. We'll actually get a radio out and I'll show you that it powers my uh, my radio scanner. Spirit. He lives so, in us and knows what we are wrestling the, with. He the radio also scanner. knows what God wants. 
He so is the perfect so helper kind of to right connect now. where you can we see are it's power with off where solar God panel. wants us to go. Let's uh, if you can hear that. Join Anita Carmen as she teaches the series Transforming the Emotions. It's not the best, but you can obviously see just through solar. It's pretty impressive. They can power this little radio scanner. It's at 16 watts compared to 30 watts, so it's half the wattage. But, yeah. So, this is going to conclude... This is going to conclude the video, guys. And if you like it, please subscribe. Please give me a like. Give me a comment down below on what's your favorite thing about this. And we'll see you guys in a new video I'll be producing here soon.